In this video, I'll cover features from both NAN's core functionality and community nodes that you might not know about. Count how many you already knew, then share it down in the comment section along with any other feature you'd recommend. First off is a really simple one that I only realized after NAN posted this on X. Instead of moving your cursor to the expression button every time, you can just hit the equal key. Now the second feature is using environment variables in NAN. If you have an enterprise plan, you're already using the custom variable feature. If not, you can set an environment variable in a self-hosted setup by inserting it in your NAN ENVs and using this expression. If you're running it locally, you'll want to set up your Docker container with this command to include your .env. Speaking of global variables, there's an even simpler alternative, the NAN nodes globals. I discovered this thanks to Danilo Alves from the AI Forge community. This node allows you to create global constants that you can use in any workflow. Next up are data retrieval variables. You've probably used these before, but let's review all your options. Using the JSON variable lets you fetch the current item data. This is perfect when you receive multiple items and need to access a specific parameter for each iteration. Using this variable gives you access to the output of that reference node. Finally, using items gives you all the items at once instead of one by one. The fifth feature is a node that some programmers like myself might overlook. It's the aggregate node, which simply combines all items into a single data array field, which takes us to the sixth feature, the split out node. I could have mentioned this in the previous one, but I chose to split it. Sorry, I had to make that joke. This node does the opposite of aggregate node. It takes a single data array field and splits it out into multiple items. Seventh on the list is the now variable. This returns the current date and time. And in case yours is different from your own time zone, check the settings tab over here. The eighth feature enables scraping static data from websites using the extract HTML content node. Simply perform a get request to the website, add the node, configure your desired CSS selectors, and you're done. Now, did you know you can execute shell commands inside your workflows? This feature is great for tasks like fetching random Chuck Norris jokes like this. Finally, the 10th awesome thing you can do in NAN is running almost any LLM, not just the default ones. All you have to do is use open router, get your credentials, place the base URL. Now all you have to do is insert the model you want to use. And that's it. Remember to leave a like if you learned anything at all and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.